Are you an artist or a DJ? BB Mobile Apps is the solution for you. They specialize in creating mobile apps for entertainers. That's right. You can have your own mobile app where your followers can hear your shows or music, watch your videos, and view all your social networks in one place. You can even make money with banner ads and send push notifications directly to your audience to make sure they get your messages. Everyone has their phones on them, right? A mobile app will add credibility to your brand because your content will be accessible to them while they're on the go. BB Mobile Apps also makes apps for bloggers, actors, and producers. The process only takes about 20 minutes. Just go to bbmobileapps.com and click Get Started Now. That's bbmobileapps.com and tell them the Doug Stewart Show sent you. Doug Stewart here to tell you about my man Smooth at smoothtickets.com. Smooth's got the tickets for everything that you need in the world of sports, concerts, or theater. I don't care what it is. I don't care where it's at in this great land of ours. My man Smooth at smoothtickets.com. He got them tickets. I'm telling you. Boxing, baseball, NBA, NFL, country music concerts, hard rock, hip-hop, theater, Broadway. He's got them all. And if he don't have them, there ain't none. I'm telling you, smoothtickets.com. Once again, that's smoothtickets.com. Or give them a call at 404-374-1150. Once again, that's 404-374-1150. You got to tell them, though, that I sent you. You got to tell them that Doug Stewart sent you. Once again, smoothtickets.com. That's smoothtickets.com. Yeah! National Debt Relief is one of the country's largest and most reputable debt settlement companies. Made up of energetic individuals who are passionate about helping thousands of Americans with debt relief. Most importantly, we're all about helping our customers through a tough financial time in their lives with education and individual customer service. We're dedicated to helping individuals and families rid their lives of burdensome debt. Specializing in debt settlement and they've also negotiated settlements for thousands of creditor and collection accounts. Providing clients with both expertise and proven results, this means helping customers in time of hardship to get out of debt with the least possible cost. It can also mean conducting financial consultations, educating the customer, and recommending the appropriate solution. Core services offer debt settlement as an alternative, I repeat, alternative to bankruptcy, credit counseling, and debt consolidation. National Debt Relief is your number one advocate group to help you reestablish financial stability as quickly as possible. So give us a call at 844-828-4975. Again, that's 844-828-4975 and work it out. Welcome back to the Doug Stewart Show. It is a Man Talk Monday, and we're brought to you by FootballSportsApp.com, the first live-action mobile sports app played in real time and a cool way to get into the game. All right, go to FootballSportsApp.com. That's FootballSportsApp.com. Register to become an affiliate and possibly make some money, man. Very, very simple process. All you got to do is just tell your friends. Can't be simpler than that. Once again, footballsportsapp.com, footballsportsapp.com. They bring you the Doug Stewart Show. Um, so let's be honest. If you're like me, you really don't get into the Olympics until the track and field events uh, get going. And they got going, uh, I guess, like midway last week where you had the women's events, uh, sprint races really get going. Uh, and then this past weekend, you had the men. And last night, man, Usain Bolt wins his third Olympic gold medal in the 100-meter dash, man. Um, dude ran it in 9.81 seconds. He was followed by America's Justin Gatlin at 9.89. And Andre Degrassi from uh, from Canada at 9.91. The kid, what's the kid name? And I should have wrote down his name, Bromel. He's the young kid, the up-and-comer kid, man. He came in absolute last in the damn race. Uh, man. He came in last, man, but he's young. Uh, they, a lot of people feel like he's the future 
of the sprint events for America, man. But he uh, he had a tough night last night. But but you saying Bolt, man? And I said this four years ago. <laughs> and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. I said this four years ago, and I'm not the only person that's talking about it. Michael Johnson, uh, who's doing some commentating for the Olympics, man, for uh, uh, for the UK, I believe it is. And he just broke it down last night, man. Like, it's just, it's unbelievable to think a guy that big could be that fast. It's as simple as that because that that 100 meter, man, is really a power race, you know. A, a large majority of your success in that race is like the first 15 meters, first 15, 20 meters, the dig phase as they call it. And the power in which how fast you can get out of the blocks. And last night, Justin Gatlin did everything that he possibly could do. He was ahead by like five or six meters at one point in this race. And then the last 20 meters, Gatlin had uh, had let Bolt catch up. And it was a wrap. The last 20 minute, uh, meters, man, this dude is just, it's just unbelievable, man. I got to give him a ball award, I guess, even though he's not from America. Uh, I got to give him a ball award, man. Unbelievable! Damn, Ninja! And, I mean, you can see, and my man Jay Clyde says it in the chat room, Bolt takes 41 steps while everyone else takes around 45 steps. And I'm telling you, at, like, that 80-meter mark, man, when he caught up to him, it was a wrap. Like, how can you have that big of a lead? Me and my wife, when the race started, <laughs> and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show, we become these big track fans ever since my daughter started running a couple of years ago. And I'm, I'm telling you, the first, when Gatlin had, like, I'm going to guess he had, like, a five, six-meter lead in the race in the first, like, 30, 40 meters. And when he had that big of a lead, me and my wife jumped up out of our seats. He got him. He got him. He got him. He got him. Hold on. Hold on, Justin. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, damn, Justin. <laughs> and as I told you in the first segment, you know, I met Justin Gatlin when he was, like, 10 years old. You know, and I met him, you know, uh, actually, I guess you could say, you know, talked to him several times because my neighbor that I talked about, uh, you know, I used to go over to his house all the time. I was kind of like the only person from my hometown that I knew that was in Pensacola at the time. And so I used to go over there and drink beers and watch TV or whatever. And the neighbor, just his dad, was a very good friend of uh of my homeboy and so they used to always be together like in the living room watching tv or whatever and justin would come through so my wife met him okay me and my wife were dating we weren't married at the time we got married like a year later and uh so my wife met him so my wife is this big justin gatlin fan and we both jumped out of our seats man and he had him like there's no way he wasn't gonna win with the lead that he had and then he did Oh, my gosh. So, I mean, what can you say? What can you say? The fastest man in the world, a world record holder, um, you know, Usain Bolt. Uh, just an incredible night last night, man, in the 100-meter. This dude plays to the crowd. They mentioned something, and I threw this out at my daughter as well because I always kind of want to tell her things to inspire her. They said Usain Bolt has made like $33 million dollars. In the last four years. <laughs> yeah. So you can actually make some money in track and field with, I guess, all the sponsorships and all the things that come with being the fastest man in the world. Uh, commercials and all of that stuff, man. Uh, it's, it's incredible, man. It's incredible to watch this guy, as big as he is, as big as he is, run that 100 meter, man. Because it's all about the start and uh, it doesn't matter. He doesn't get the uh, the best start. He actually had one of the slowest starts out of all the competitors last night. Um, it says the 29-year-old Bolt, uh, who this is probably going to be his last Olympics, his reaction time of .155 was second slowest of the eight finalists. He got the second slowest start out of everybody last night and, you know, ran away with the damn thing. Actually kind of... You know, pulled up at the end and patted his chest or whatever. And so, incredible, incredible night. Ain't nobody going to beat that ninja. Ball award to Usain Bolt. There you have it.
There you have it. There you have it. Crazy, crazy, man. Uh, they actually booed Justin Gatlin. You know he's already uh, failed a couple of drug tests in his career. Uh, he has excuses on why. Actually suspended for a couple of years as well. Uh, so when he came into the stadium last night, and I like how they do it now. I don't think they always always did it like this, where they actually give these cats like an introduction when they come out of the locker room. I don't think they've always done that. I don't think so. Somebody can correct me on that if I'm wrong. But so when now when they, you know, they come out of the locker room ready, I guess they do their little warm up maybe, and they don't show that on TV, and then they go back into the locker room, and then so they introduce each person by name, and they come out of the tunnel. And onto the track, and, you know, people just applaud. And so they obviously went crazy for Usain Bolt. When Justin comes out there, the crowd is, like, booing this ninja. I'm like, golly, damn, Justin. And you know what? I mean, he's accepted responsibility for, uh, you know, failing the drug tests and all the issues that he's had throughout his career. Uh, Never really shied away from it. But once again, has given a couple of excuses on why, you know, he failed tests. It's neither here nor there. He did. And uh, so it was interesting last night how they do that. That was pretty cool. But once again, Usain Bolt, man, does the damn thing. And uh, man, man, wins the uh, the 100 meter last night in 9.81 seconds. That is flying. <laughs> flying. Uh, we're going to take a break right now, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show, but there were a couple other eventful things that happened this weekend in the Olympics. We'll talk about all of them. We'll talk quickly about Simone Biles, who just continues to crush. Uh, got a new record in the 400-meter. Uh, Team USA is struggling in basketball once again. We'll hit all of those when we get back from the break, all right? Stay tuned. Hey, the number to the show is 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show.com. So I did speak with someone at the Doubletree Hotel this weekend, and there are a couple of rooms left. I think they said there's four rooms left. If you're coming to Atlanta for TDSS Weekend 2, where we celebrate the second year anniversary of the Doug Stewart Show, and you want to hang out with other Stewies at the host hotel, the Doubletree Hotel in Buckhead, you can still do it, all right? TDSS Weekend 2, September 9th through the 11th. Uh, Come on through and hang out if you can, man. Uh, We're going to have final arrangements, we believe, tomorrow, or uh, the final itinerary on what we're going to do, where we're going to meet at, hang out, have fun, meet and greet, all of that type of stuff. We should have that tomorrow, all right? We still got a couple of weeks uh, before the weekend, so... Uh, but we should have that information for you tomorrow. TDSS Weekend 2, September 9th through the 11th. Back in three minutes, this is the Doug Stewart Show. Mic check. (laughs) Yes. This is your humble host, Marcus Harper. And make sure you check out my show, the Marcus Harper Podcast, on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. (laughs) Yes. Hop aboard this train of thought. Weekly. 60 minutes of work. I got you. Sports talk, soul beats, and life. (laughs) Again, the Marcus Harper Podcast. Weekly on the SME Network. Check me out. Life is good. Doug Stewart here to tell you about my man Smooth at SmoothTickets.com. Smooth's got the tickets for everything that you need in the world of sports, concerts, or theater. I don't care what it is. I don't care where it's at in this great land of ours. My man Smooth at SmoothTickets.com. He got them tickets. I'm telling you. Boxing. Baseball, NBA, NFL, country music concerts, hard rock, hip-hop, theater, Broadway. He's got them all. And if he don't have them, there ain't none. I'm telling you. SmoothTickets.com. Once again, that's SmoothTickets.com. Or give him a call at 404-374-1150. Once again, that's 404-374-1150. You got to tell him, though, that I sent you. You got to tell them that Doug Stewart sent you. Once again, SmoothTickets.com. That's SmoothTickets.com. 